Hi, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Adventures. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India. And in my last video, right over there, I promised you that I'd take a closer look at my Baofeng Windlink setup. So, with no further ado, let's uh, get everything on the table and we'll take a look at the individual components. Hardware wise, going from uh, the computer side, we got the Lenovo here. And from the Lenovo, by one single USB cable, uh, it ends up in the Digireg interface here. From the Digireg and the audio port of the Digireg here, we end up at the Baofeng. And um, that's about it, hardware wise. So um, let's take a look at the software settings. And depending on how uh, you connect your Winlink nodes, the setup is a little bit different. Um, I'm using Packet Winlink because that's what's available near me. If you have Vara FM nodes, you can use Vara to connect to it, but I'm gonna use Packet. And first of all, let's fire up Winlink here. And uh, we'll take a look at these settings. Uh, there are a couple of uh, different settings depending on how you connect. I'll look at the packet side of it, but uh, it's not going to be too different if you use Vara. You just need, I'm just going to click the remind me later here. Uh, you can see up here that I got a packet winlink session that I'm going to run. So I'm going to press open session. Then you can see that sound modem pops up in the background here. We'll take a look at that in a little while, but let's start out with the Winlink uh, packet settings here. The thing is though, uh, if you're using packet, if you're using uh, Vara, you need some kind of software modem in the middle. For Vara FM, it's the Vara FM application. For packet, it's uh, some kind of software TNC or hardware TNC, but in my case, I'm using a software TNC and that's sound modem. But um, as far as the Winlink settings, settings uh, goes here, you can see that we have a TNC connection here. It's a KISS TNC, uh, and KISS is a TNC protocol. Um, TNC model is ACK mode, serial port, TCP, you have it to uh, route it to your computer, and port 8100. And uh, you're gonna see when I open sound modem that uh, the settings are pretty much the same there. Then there's a couple of TNC parameters. Uh, I'm not going to go through everyone. Just pause the video and look at it if uh, you want to copy them. Uh, so we're just going to press cancel here since we've already um, set it up. Then we're going to go into sound modem here. First of all, I'm just going to turn the radio on here and you can see the waterfall. Uh, it's supposed to be in uh, a little bit to the red side, but not a lot to the reddish side. So about here. That's the ideal settings as far as I've seen. Press the settings here. Uh, first of all, the devices. You can see that I use the Digirig sound card here. Uh, and there's a couple of settings here. I followed a guide. I'll link that down below for you. Uh, and just copied what was there. And that seemed to work for me. So just pause the video and copy these settings and it should work given that your setup is similar to mine. So I'm just gonna press cancel here. Then I'm gonna press settings again, look at modems. And here are the modem settings. Um, I've done the same here. I've copied from the guide that's linked down below and you just go ahead and copy the same settings to, to your uh, setup if you're using pretty much the same set setup as I am. Uh, but I'll leave it here for a little while, pause it, and uh, then you can uh, copy these. And that's about it. That's all you need to do. So I'm gonna go back to the session window here and press channel selection. And I can say with a certain degree of certainty that we're not going to get a connection today. If you want to see me do a live Winlink session with this setup, uh, take a look at the video that's uh, over there up here somewhere. Uh, it's also linked below. It's my previous video about the setup here. Because I'm only using a rubber ducky and um, there's a little bit of distance to, uh, to the node here. It's actually 59 kilometers according to... Uh, to the packet channel selection here. But I'm gonna press this, no press this nonetheless. 
I'm gonna check the radio, see that that's on 144.925. And just for example's sake, we're gonna see that it starts keying though on the radio. Um, so I'm gonna press start here and the connection starts. It starts keying the radio and it's gonna do this, I think I've set it to four tries before it gives up. The thing is though, at my current QTH, I actually need to be, uh, I need to use a antenna on the roof, uh, uh, an outside antenna with a lot of gain in order to reach this, uh, this one link uh, node. And you can see that there's a disconnect reported here, Just that's just because I couldn't get through. That might happen though, you might not be in reach of your closest wind link node. Perhaps you need an antenna with more gain, perhaps you need to be in a different location, but that's two meter communications in general. But then again, this video was not about showing you how to, or showing you what happens with a wind link connection like this. My intention with this video was just showing you the settings and showing you that everything works. And that's about it. That's how easy you can get a two meter packet session going. And my guess is that you can also use the sound modem for, for general packet radio. I haven't really tried packet radio. I know that Jürgen um, OH4JHW uh, made a video about packet radio in 2024. Um, I'll link that up here and down below if you want to take a look at that as well. And that's it for now. I hope this was helpful for you. Hope to help a little bit. And I'm going to play more with this all the way through the summer and see if we can get one link sessions going at times where I otherwise wouldn't. I guess that's it. See you next time. See you down the band. See you down the log. See you in my next video. Remember to click that like button, leave a comment down below. Uh, if you want to support the channel a little bit more, there are a couple of links down below to do that. And um, until next time, my friends, 7-3.